What's going on there YouTube? This is RickTop1337 here and I'm coming at you with a first look of the Joy Tech or Nate tank. Um, this tank so far I've only been using it for probably about two or three hours so I mean I can't really give like a full review on it but you know so far it's it's pretty good. I got it in Tim control boat right now because it is a stainless steel coil, 316L stainless steel coil, and that is the I do believe parallel coil. If I'm mistaken, go ahead and correct me in the comments, but I do believe it is a parallel coil, a uh, dual, and it comes with this coil in it, and this coil has adjustable juice flow. They really did change it because uh, before it was hard to adjust the, the juice control. Like uh, if you can see there, it used to be very hard according to uh, other reviewers. But mine's fairly easy, so it must be that they fixed it. This is a triple coil. Hold on, cotton's poking out. This is a triple coil, and the airflow goes from the bottom, and it has the positive post, which has airflow in it going into the coil. But I do believe that they are both uh, 316 stainless steel, and they may just find the temperature control mode. Uh, this is my setup for temperature control, about 500 degrees Fahrenheit and 130 watt for the ramp up. I mean, it doesn't, of course I'm running in temperature control mode, so the wattage bumps down, so the clouds really aren't amazing in this, but let me change it up for you, put it in power mode. Hold on, let me do that for you right now. Alright, it is in power mode at 100 watts. Are you ready? So the clouds are pretty decent. Um, this again is only at 100 watts, pushing 3.87 volts. This is a 1.5 ohm coil head that's in here. And this coil is a 1.5 coil, 1.5 ohm coil as well. Um, so far, it's vaping pretty great. There is a slight amount of break-in time. I'm still in that break-in time. I haven't hit it a lot, and I've been running in temperature control mode, so the break-in is going to take slightly longer. But... Uh, the juice, you can still taste the juice. It doesn't taste absolutely overwhelmingly cottony. And it never has from the beginning. Since I primed the coil. But so far it's pretty good. Uh, my coil, my my tank came with an extra drip tip. And a, and a 510 adapter. And it's pretty good. Um, the airflow locks open. And basically has like a lock in it so it locks shut and it doesn't continue. It's not like a free spinning airflow. It opens and locks open, closes and locks closes. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, how you open up the juice, how you do the, uh, how you refill the juice, you twist off this top cap like so. And there you go. You can see how you refill the juice in there. Can't really tip it that far but yeah. It's a uh, pretty good tank so far, and I've had the TFV8, which is here. I had to put it out of commission because I cracked the glass and did not feel like buying a new tank because Smoke Tech stopped making spare glass for it. But in my time of using the Ornate, I believe that it is better in the short run that I've used it so far. It is better than the TFV8. The airflow is more open, I, I feel, is more direct than the TFV8. And it's just a, it can run at higher wattages. That's just it. The coils 
aren't rated to the same wattages that the Tia V8 coils are, but it can like like the standard wattage is higher. Uh, to run the Tia V8 at this level, it would be at probably 90 to 85 watts. Let me bump this up to 130 real quick. And it can run 130 just fine. I'll show you that right now. It's a little bit warmer, as you could expect. But it's not overwhelmingly warm. It's not, it's not going to choke you out, basically, from vaping it. Which is a pretty good, on this, on this tank's part, it's a pretty good feature. Um, anyway, that'll be it. This is Rick Top 1337 with the first look at the Joytech Ornate. After I use this for a while, I will come out with a full review of it. Anyways, this is Rick Top 1337 signing off.